Right there behind us is where we've been doing our talks on the inspirational stage, and this one we recorded for you on Friday. We are Steve and Lindsay Radford of the Roman Radfords. We run a YouTube channel. We share our family motorhome adventures through YouTube. Now, we don't travel full-time, do we? No, we spend three months of the year in our van traveling around the UK, Europe, even America recently. Yeah, we've lived the COVID homeschooling era. I am very happy for someone else who is more professional than me to educate my children. So we're just we, traveling school holidays. We set up a family travel channel at the beginning of the pandemic, which is not the best time to set up a family YouTube travel channel. Especially the travel emphasis, <laughs> no, absolutely. But we've been traveling for 15, 16 years as a family in our motorhome and caravans. Almost as long as we've had children. Our eldest is 17 now and learning to drive. So he's out on the roads, which is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so we all started off with our very first one, which, which is a 1989 Pilotti. We oh, loved cool. this van. It was absolutely gorgeous, but it was quite old and it did smell of damp. Um, and when we'd done a few, a few trips in it, we decided we wanted more space. The family was expanding. We wanted to find something a little bigger and a little more luxurious. And a little newer, but we couldn't quite stretch to having a new motorhome, so we went off to and got a caravan. Yeah. Our first and only caravan. Yeah, it was an amazing layout. It had beds, bunk beds for the children and that living room that converts into a big bed that suits us as well. And it gave me an excuse to buy a Range Rover, which is always good. Then we got back into uh, a motorhome. A caravan into us is, if you want to go to a campsite for a week, um, or even the summer holidays, we would often put it um, on a site for the whole of the summer holidays. A caravan is perfect. But we wanted to go off adventuring, right? Road tripping. Yeah, as the boys started to get a little bit bigger, we wanted to explore more with them. The caravan was great, especially in the summer where we parked it on our very local campsite. It was about 10 minutes from home and 10 minutes from the office. So we'd open the doors and push the children out, wave bye-bye to daddy who went to work, and, and the boys and I had a lovely summer. It was really nice. So we moved on to a series of motorhomes, and we went for the rear lounge layout, which worked for us as a family, having two living areas. We also bought a brand new uh, motorhome at this show. Yes, this was our very first brand new motorhome. We ordered it at the October show, and this is gonna show you how times have changed a little over the last few years. It was delivered to us on the 1st of December. 1st of December. And quite quickly. If you're not getting nowadays. We've even rented RVs in America. Uh, recently we did a Florida trip, which is currently on our channel, which has got a few surprises you should check out. <laughs> um, however, this was when we did a, about four or five years ago. We flew into LA and we did LA, Vegas, San Francisco, back to LA again in a, an RV. This RV was nice and clean and the fridge worked and didn't smell, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> It wasn't so bad. If you've seen the Florida one, it's a different case. Yes. And then we moved on to um, the Contiki range, which is what we have now, a new one. But this is our 649 we had. Again, it's a rear lounge. It's a nice big layout. And our current one, which is an 874. We work very closely with Swift. This was the... I want to say the pilot, it's not the pilot. Prototype. Prototype. This was the prototype van from the range. So we put it through, our, through its paces over the summer and gave some feedback to Swift that have gone into production as the, the, the whole range went into proper production. That's it. We are Swift ambassadors as well. But this is not about that. Um, this was the itinerary we bought at the show, got it home, December 2016. Yes. Very excited decided let's go away for Christmas in it, right? Yes. So and we, we went and did, got the graphics on it, and we did the NC500 for December for Christmas 2016. Who here has done the NC500? So quite a few of you. If you've not done it, have you heard of it? Yeah, more people okay. have heard of it. Okay, so Scotland in winter is beautiful. Where do you go the following Easter? We've got two and a half weeks of school holidays, which worked out about two weeks in the end with everything we needed to do. How do you top that without going over onto the continent? We went to the Wild Atlantic Way. Now, who's heard of the Wild Atlantic Way? Okay. okay anyone have, done the Wild Atlantic Way? Has anyone done it? Okay, not as many. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Wild Atlantic Way is 1,600 miles on the Atlantic coast of Ireland. There are over 500 different tourist attractions, 
Um, there are 50 loops that you can walk. There's 53 blue flag beaches and 120 golf courses. So there is absolutely loads of things that you can see and it's very professionally done. Now obviously when you've done the NC500 in two weeks, 1600 miles, which is, uh, well, four or five times the length. You're going to do that in two weeks as well, aren't you? Getting there and doing a whole loop around Ireland. So we're here today to tell you how not to do the Wild Atlantic Way. Yes. You shouldn't be doing it the way we did it. No. Okay. Two weeks is not enough. So Lindsay was going to be busy. She couldn't come with us immediately. She had an appointment the next day. So George put on his shirt and tie. We sat down, worked out where we we're going to go. Me and the boys jumped in the van. Of course, we put a new graphic on the van. We own a signs and graphics company. So we do these kind of mad things when we go off. And uh, we got on the road without mum. Lads on mum. tour, lads on tour. <laughs> First stop, North Wales. I've put maps here and pins to show you where we are along the route, guys. Uh, we did a wild camp at, at North Wales. Next day we was on to the uh, ferry early and across over to Ireland. And we took the fast ferry, Hollyhead to Dublin, which was the fastest crossing I could find. Um, and then I headed north. We got up there and headed up towards Belfast. As soon as we got off the ferry, I found a lovely spot where we're a wild spot with a load of other motorhomes. As long as we've got a bit of grass so Harry can kick his football around um, and somewhere for the kids to play, they're happy. So that was us tonight. Yeah. Next day, I'm looking for something to do before we pick Lindsay up. And I get on TripAdvisor and HMP Belfast was the number one place to visit in Belfast. So I thought that would have to be interesting for the kids. So we locked them in the jail. <laughs> We, we went round there for the day well, for a good few hours. So if you're in Belfast and you haven't done it, definitely recommend trying that out. I'm, then, not, I'm not sure if you can see, but George is little in this <laughs> and he's still in his welly phase. And his welly phase lasted about three years. He's quite often just wear wellies and, mm -hmm. and either swimming shorts or just pants. Yes. But he's fully clothed there. Yeah. Then we got in a campsite. We got our little sign ready to pick mummy up for a bit of fun and headed to the airport. And there she was. We're reunited as a family again. It's, it's strange not to be away together in the motor. It was lots of pasties and, well, oh, yeah. just pasties and pot noodles. That's all I do. Yeah. I don't do it. Daddy parenting. And we hit the road. Now, we're not on the Wild Atlantic Way yet, guys, but Ireland is stunning. It is beautiful all around Ireland. And the next stop was Giant's Causeway. Has anyone done Giant's Causeway? Okay, yeah. quite a few of you. Beautiful Again, rock formation. Not on the Wild Atlantic Way. Not on the Wild Atlantic Way yet because, you know, we've got two weeks so we're going to do everything else as well as the Wild Atlantic Way in two weeks. Um, we love a World Heritage Site. We do spend a lot of time when we're, when we're abroad looking for World Heritage Sites that we can go and explore with the kids as well. That was a good one. Now we're on the Wild Atlantic Way. There's the start. It's in a place called Muff at County Sorry. Donegal. I don't, I'm not ever going to grow up enough not to laugh at that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway. Signposts, okay, the Wild Atlantic Way. When I was doing the research for this, I found out they spent 10 million on signposts for this. So you're going to see signposts everywhere. This is one at the start, and you're going to see lots of these with a little squiggle on. The squiggle is a stylized W-A-W, and as you're traveling north or south, you'll see which direction you're traveling in, it's on there, so you can't get turned around and get lost mm -hmm. too much. You'll also see these little things at discovery points. Yes. Where there's plenty of information, and look at the view, there's lots of these, lots and lots of these along the way. Now, my grandma, when we come back from these trips, my grandma was always really disappointed, because Steve would get the photos out, he's like, grandma, come on, let's show you some photos. And it'd be motorhome, photo in beautiful location but it's still motorhome photo motorhome photo motorhome photo who doesn't like taking a photo of their motorhome come on yeah huh you'll see a few photos of the motorhome he likes them from the back view as well a lot okay the most northerly point of ireland at malin head is where we're at now on the map guys yes we're still very close to the border and one of the the points of interest that you can see is the sign that's on the ground. Now it's big and it was created in World War II so that the German pilots would know that they'd crossed over into neutral territory and that was not an area to bomb. Right. And there are several of those up and down across Ireland. There's quite a few of them There's dotted a lot. all down the coastline. Yeah. Okay, first and only pub stop. We, need, we like wild camping, we like pub stops. Um, and then we'll pop in a campsite 
when we need to. Yes. So this was the singing pub we popped in and met with the locals and had an evening in there. Yeah, lovely ancient pub, nice flat car park. They were really welcoming. Very nice. And that was the era of doing the... The dabs. dabbing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't do that now. We'll get, we'll get in trouble with the kids. Oh, bad Eddie's <laughs> boat. As Lindsay was saying, there's lots of the... There's, there's 500 different tourist attractions and they're all sorts. There's so many... So much variety to what you can see. Now, Bad Eddie's boat, it's not a wreck, but it was an abandoned boat, and it was left on one of those um, blue, frag, blue flag beaches. Uh, we took our good Eddie, he's a good boy, to see Bad Eddie's boat, and it was a beautiful day. The weather was lovely, and we had a little lunch. picnic on the, on the wall afterwards. Yeah. That's it. And look, another photo of the motorhome. Photo of the motorhome, back look, view. Look at the view, though. In a beautiful location. See, I wasn't doing video then. We wasn't making vlogs then, so no. I was just taking photos. And another photo of the motorhome <laughs> with the map. But you are seeing lots and lots of these signs. Yeah, I see, they spent 10 million on him. You're going to see quite a few of these. Yes. Now, you can see where we are up there on the map. The roads are quite thin. If you're precious about your motorhome, you're going to get bushes rubbing down either side in some places. There are very thin roads. There are passing points, but as you can see, signposts, thin roads in places. And we didn't do every little strand of the Wild Atlanta Way. I've got to be honest with you, where it goes off like this, we didn't do every little strand on every single loop. I can see, I can see the speed sometimes is 20, 30 miles an hour. Yeah. And I'm already recognizing that I may have bitten off more than I can chew. No doubt. Um, those were screen grabs from an app. There is actually an app that you can download that can talk you through and show you and help you plan those points of interest along the way. So all this driving, we've got to break this driving up. We get the boys out on the beach, find a little rope swing to, to take the time and stretch their legs. Another photo of the motorhome. <laughs> from behind. But look at the scenery here. We've been all over the Alps, all over Europe, and it is just as stunning on there. Yeah. Um, and this, this one here reminds me actually of the NC500, the road going across the top there. Yeah. So it is beautiful. But allow more than two weeks to do it. This is the last recorded photo of my two boys hugging each other. <laughs> that was a momentous moment in the, the Radford family. <laughs> but the weather is gorgeous and um, it's Easter, don't forget. So the it's, weather was gorgeous and they're even topless. It was you that can see nice. the boys are topless down there. The weather was on our side for this trip. It really yeah. was. Now we're two, two, three days wild camping. And we've got to go and find a campsite. We've got to go and replenish the water. We've got to go and drop the grey. We've got shower to go and empty kids. the loo. Shower the kids, get everyone yeah. through. So we found this campsite here on the peninsula. What a stunning location. This was a beautiful independent campsite. Fabulous. We're halfway around now, guys. And I can see we've really bitten off more than I can chew. <laughs> we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. <laughs> so we drove all the next day until dusk and ended up at Loop Head Lighthouse. Uh, which is another tourist attraction which was just shut in as we arrived. Um, near it though is another one of those markers, the, the don't bomb here where neutral markers out on the ground, so another one to look at. And the next day we're back on the road again, driving, and we came across a ferry <laughs> accidentally. It's not the first time this has happened. Oh. Um, has anybody else gotten a ferry by accident? Right, yes. we just drive around the corner and there's a queue to get on the ferry, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the third time it's happened to us. So and By the time you realise, you're committed, aren't you? Yeah. Kilima to Taba Ferry, there it is. And it cuts off a little bit of there, but it is the, the right way to go. Mm. Anyway, a lot of driving we've been doing, so we're trying to break it up for the, for the kids. Now, we'll often go and find a swimming pool. That's a popular one to yeah. break it up. But Boss Baby was on at the cinema, so we went to the cinema and broke that up for a few hours for them. Yeah, we had a really good parking space out the back. It was nice and big, wasn't it? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And more driving now. And we've just got that last bit to do. And we found the Dingle Peninsula, where they filmed some of the Star Wars, in fact. Yes. Now, this is where I think George's love of Star Wars started. They've done some of the, the, the filming there, and then you can still see some of the land masses that they used. Um, George is here tomorrow and would be able to tell you which Star Wars film it's in. Other than that, you have to trust us in the sign, because I couldn't tell you which one it is, I'm sorry. But the Dingle Peninsula is beautiful. They filmed all around the Dingle Peninsula, I understand, and out to some of these islands. Probably some of you know what film it is. But yeah. there we go, it's beautiful, but we've just got to get on. Yeah. We've just got to get on. And Kinsale is where it ends, just down here. Yeah. And we managed to get... Now, it's George's birthday coming up, so we were 
desperate to get this finished so we can get to a holiday park so we can enjoy his birthday. And we did. And we parked a five foot way car park, which was a great stop. It's a motorhome friendly stop, an air down there. And then on to Trabagolin, I can't even pronounce that, the holiday park. <laughs> Um, the thing about the Wild Atlantic Way is there are so many options in, in where you can stay and what you can see. We did wild stops, we did small independent campsites, we did a club stop, and there were plenty of club stops, obviously, with the, with the Guinness. Um, and also the, the holiday village. Now, a difference between a holiday village and maybe a campsite is there's more stuff going on, especially for the children. If you're traveling with children, um, there's likely to be trampolines and parks and swimming pools, a whole swimming complex, wasn't there, with this one? There was, wasn't there? So yeah. two days now to relax and enjoy George's birthday, yes. but then we still got to get back. Um, and so it's back, driving back to Dublin, onto the ferry and back home. And we did it in two weeks. But did. please don't attempt to do that in two weeks yourselves. There is not enough time. We rushed it. We missed loads. There's so much we need to do when we go back. Um, Cat Wandering Bird is doing it in the next few weeks, and she's going to spend five weeks travelling to do it. I would say that is the minimum, unless you're doing it in sections. There's no reason you can't do it in sections, but unless you Five do, or six weeks will be perfect to do it. Yeah, give yourself time to explore. You'll see that we've been putting the stickers on, show the kids everywhere we stop. And you can see we got fed up at this stage after then. We were just rushing around. This is another reason why we can't homeschool. We, we got halfway around, got bored and stopped putting the stickers on. Um, but we, we like to take the, the maps and stickers so the boys get a little bit of context of where we are and a little more understanding of, 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 of where we are in the world. Absolutely. So there it is, guys, the Wild Atlantic Way. Definitely try it yourself, not in two weeks. Yes. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.